All right, last one on the AB exam, okay? So uh, as usual, if there's any corrections, I'll put it in the comment or the description. So particle P moves along the x-axis so that time for t greater than zero position is given by this. Particle Q moves t greater than zero, such that its velocity is given by this. At time t equals one, the position is given by that. Find VP, the velocity of particle P at time t. So VP is gonna be equal to the derivative of the position. So that's going to be derivative six is zero, that'd be negative four e to the negative t, then by chain rule negative one. So that's four e to the negative t. And so that's that, just taking the derivative of that. Find aq, the acceleration of particle at time t. For all times t greater than zero, when is the speed of the particle decreasing? Justify your answer. So aq is equal to the derivative of the velocity. And they gave you the velocity here, so vq is equal to, I'm gonna write as t to the negative two, so when I take that derivative, it's gonna be negative two t to the negative three, which is negative two over t cubed, okay? You probably can leave it like that, but I, I prefer it this way, because I'm gonna do a sign analysis here in a second. So aq, for t greater than zero, um, aq is always negative, always. So if I want to know if the, when is the speed decreasing, that's when, when speed is decreasing, that's when the velocity and the acceleration have different signs. So you know that VQ of T, which is one over T squared, and T is always greater than zero. This is always greater than zero because T squared is always greater than zero. So one over a positive number is always positive. So VQ is always positive, AQ is always negative. So for all time, so for T greater than zero, VQ, is less than zero, aq is greater than zero, therefore it is always um, slowing down, is always, the speed is always decreasing for t greater than zero, okay? So that was like kind of a trick question, there's really no change. I just wanna double check if there's anything weird about it. Nope, this is always positive, and so I take the derivative, it's always negative and they're always opposite signs, so there's always slowing down. As long as t is greater than zero, right? Like if t is less than zero, then it, it, it changes, but I think it's always slowing down either way. Uh, find the position of particle at time t. So you have uh, yq, uh, so you wanna find yq as a function of time. So we know vq is equal to one over t squared. That means yq is the antiderivative of vq which is integral of t to the negative 2 dt. And that's going to be power rule um, t to the negative 1 over negative 1 plus c. That's negative 1 over t plus c. Now, how do I find the value of c? I know that at, um, at time t equals 1, y equals 2. So I know 2 is equal to negative 1 over 1 plus c, which is negative 1 plus c. So then c is equal to 3. So then yq is equal to negative one over t plus three, like that, okay? As t goes infinity, which particle will eventually be farther from the origin? Give a reason for your answer. Okay, so let's look at yq. We know that as that goes to infinity, so as t goes to infinity, so as t goes to infinity, what does yq go to? Well, I have an equation for yq. yq is gonna approach three, because as t goes to infinity, this whole thing's gonna go to zero. So yq approaches three, Okay, and then let's look at xq of t. Uh, we didn't get the x position of here, but um, we would say that, oh no, we have this one, so xp. So as t goes to infinity for this guy, xp of t, okay, this uh, e to the negative t, e to the negative infinity, right, that's gonna approach zero, that part. So this whole thing is just gonna approach six, right? So then we would say, um, you know, um, x, p of, x of p is gonna approach six. So this guy does, so particle p. And you may wanna demonstrate that. You wanna say the limit as t goes to infinity, negative one over t plus three equals three, and the limit t, if you wanna do it kind of explicitly of the six, what was it, uh, six minus four e to the negative t. It's sufficient to say that that's six. And so particle p, is six units, particle Q is three units from the origin.
Those were both position equations. I want to just double check that they were position equations. Uh, particle position there, and then there's a position equation. Yeah, that's fine. There's nothing tricky about that. Sometimes I just want to double check my wording. I read it correctly there. Okay.